Senate Hearing Committee meeting this morning. WDEF News Cell's Andy Santoro has reaction from local medical professionals. Mississippi is one of only two states that does not allow personal exemption of vaccinations. But in a Senate hearing in Washington this morning, discussion has begun to make these laws national. I will fight that to the end. I mean, and, and it's not even a, 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 it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a human rights issue. You know, we, it, this is still the United States and you have the right to not introduce any, any foreign materials in, 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 into, into your body. An infectious disease doctor at Memorial Hospital has a different opinion and based on a very personal experience. A uh, very young baby uh, died of measles encephalitis while I was holding the baby and, uh, and I had to tell the mother, hand this child back to the mother who had just died from something that was preventable. Dr. Anderson wants us to continue to talk about mandatory national vaccine laws. A uh, disease that there's a, a very safe vaccine for that uh, can help prevent the spread of this. I mean, there, I think that it's a reasonable thing to, to uh, place uh, restrictions on people who refuse to do that. With a national spotlight on the rise in autism in children, theories run rampant on the reasons for the push to vaccinate. I think it is a, a concerted effort by the pharmaceutical industry to try to shove these things down our throats. Uh, I don't make one red cent from vaccines. I don't, I don't sell them. I own no stock in vaccine companies. Uh, I promote those because it's the right thing for the patients I take care of and for the people in our society. In Chattanooga, Andy Santoro, WDEF News 12. Now, Senator Alexander asked one of his 